Hello, welcome to the demo video for the AI Synthesis AI-17 Low Pass Gate. This combination VCA, VCA slash VCF, and VCF module, available at AISynthesis.com. You've got an input with an attenuator, you've got an output, you've got an attenuated CV input for CV2, and an unattenuated CV1 input for doing pings, kind of like we're doing now, but we'll keep our CV and CV2. You've got your mode selector switch, you've got your depth on off control, which we'll go into a little bit later. That's your depth knob, we'll go into that later as well. You've got your level control, which is your base cutoff slash VCA input. Most time you'll probably want to keep it down. And then your resonance control for when you're in pure filter mode. Okay, so right now we have a sine wave coming in from the AI-11. We've got the control voltage coming in from the AI-03 looping ADSR going into the unattenuated CV1 input. And that's kind of doing its little bongo-y thing so we can hear the factorals open and close and the natural decay of the factorial. It's a short envelope, so that decay you're seeing is that natural decay of the factorial. This is the VCA mode. I'm gonna add some reverb real quick before we change modes. Okay, no reverb. Now we're in the combination VCF, VCA mode. And you can hear that as the volume drops, so does the high frequency content. And this is what people talk about when they talk about the naturalness of a low pass gate, because that's how our ears hear. When we hear sounds get quieter, we also hear less of the high frequency content of the sounds. It's also kind of just wonderfully lo-fi. I'm gonna add some reverb before we go switch. Okay, back to no reverb, and we'll go into the pure VCF mode. On the back of the module, there is a trimmer that allows you to set the resonance gain. Right now, it's at a fairly low setting, about 20%. Um, and you'll hear that even with that lower setting, the resonance gets pretty squirrely pretty quickly in its self-oscillation. Um, so we're just going to do some different resonance settings with just the sine wave right now, and then we'll add another wave. Okay, now I'm going to add a sawtooth wave in, also coming from the AI-11, so they're the same pitch, same phase. And then I'm going to take the CV input and put that into the CV2 so that I can attenuate it a little bit. Let's talk about depth. The switch turns the depth control on, and then what the depth knob does is apply a negative bias. So imagine as you turn it up, it's turning that level knob counterclockwise, further lower than it can go. And that can further shape the sound, as well as alter frequencies. Part of factorals is that they have a natural bleed in the low frequency range. There's some very low frequency subsonic that they just can't filter out. So the depth control, by applying that negative bias, if you do get that bleed through problem, will allow you to filter out that low frequency content. So now I'm going to slow the sequence down. Maybe not that slow. Bear with me. So we're in the combination VCF VCA mode, and we've got a short envelope going in. Oh, that's not the right one. Let's make sure 
negative so that we have the shortest pluck I can get out of this AO3, which is not the shortest envelope. And then as I turn up the bias, you can hear it get a little pluckier, which is similar but not quite the same as messing with the CV, especially when you start adding multiple CV inputs. Now we're going to go back in the filter mode, and I'm just going to play with some different sounds. Lower the pitch. Add a sawtooth. Or sorry, remove the sign and make a triangle. Uh, I'm going to keep playing with this thing, uh, but it's available now as a kit, PCP panel set, all kinds of configurations from AISynthesis.com. Thanks for watching.